this blockchain bowls and today we are going to discuss the cryptocurrency market with bitcoin and are we in a bear trap but before we talk about a bear trap we need to know what a bear trap is for the newbie because they don't know you know this kind of stuff basically uh it's a false sense of hope and they uh kind of snag in it a reverse head and shoulders or a head and shoulders yeah head and shoulders just straight up it's what it would be right but that means that uh you're getting a little bit of fake pumps in there this is your first time to blockchain bowls we're gonna go ahead and go over that you can subscribe to this channel and uh, keep up with us let's dive in and look at the Bitcoin price uh, overall it would be the Bitcoin uh, or the cryptocurrency market cap and everything like that the whole entire market 68% Bitcoin dominance so Bitcoin makes up the majority of the market so at the end of the day what Bitcoin does there so goes the market Bitcoin succeeds then hey you know great but rest of the market is dependent upon Bitcoin, whether you like it or not. Unfortunately, we still haven't gotten to the point where Ethereum or Polkadot or Cardano or Stolumens has uh, separated themselves from uh, its connectivity to Bitcoin. So if we just dial it in here to the last year and we look at the moves here, it still looks like we're moving up. But we need to dial it in to like a month here. And what you're getting here, that's a head and shoulders. And... You have the shoulder here, the head here, and the shoulder there. Watch. Shoulder, head, shoulders. When you have head and shoulders in a market, that's a concern because that is basically um, what would be called a bear trap right here where you think the market's going back up. And so you buy thinking that the market is headed back up, that we're in a recovery, but then it shoots back down on you. Then it bounces back up, bounces down, bounces up. And you're kind of confused because you're like, hey, I thought we were in a recovery. I thought we reached bottom down here at 30,000. Now let's talk about what a bear trap is according to Investopedia. Investing is a tricky endeavor and there are so are many tricks and traps that the uninitiated can fall into. The bear trap is one of them. A bear trap is a technical pattern that occurs when the performance of a stock index or other financial instrument incorrectly signals a reversal of a pr rising price trend. So you thought you were signaling the reversal of this decline, right? The sell off. So it goes up, up, pump back down. Oh, looks like we're going to do one of these, like forming the crocodile teeth, right? These crocodile teeth, you know, boom, boom, down, boom, boom. But we keep gradually uh, going up. Well, right here, nasty sell off. Right now we're in a position where we really need to uh, run a, a line of support across the board for about a week. So uh, the area that you're going to really be concerned about if we drop below 30,000, that would be a sell point for me. I mean, it doesn't have to be 30,000, but right now, being that we were at 31,000 yesterday, uh, if we go below 30,000, there's a psychological factor involved in that for other uh, institutional investors that might actually have weak hands and say, hey, all right, I'm out of this until we find the bottom. So if we did dip below 30,000, that would be an issue. But what you're looking at is there is a head and shoulders here. Let's go ahead and take a look at what a head and shoulders pattern is. So head and shoulders pattern is a chart formation that appears as a baseline with three peaks. We showed you the shoulder peak or the head and then the other shoulder. The outside two are close in height and middle is highest. In technical analysis, a head and shoulders pattern describes a specific chart formation that predicts a bullish to bearish trend reversal. So what trend have we been in for the last, I don't know, last 365 days? <laughs> I mean, well, outside of March, that was not. So a little bit after March, we entered into a bull market, right? So uh, April till now, we've been in a bull market and uh, that's been the trend. So now that we've actually seen a head and shoulders. Now, that is a short period. Uh, uh, you know, from Monday till, or well, actually it would have began Monday last night and then kind of uh, did another shoulder here over the span of an 18 hour period. Uh, maybe you could suggest that you need a little bit more time for a head and shoulders to develop, but we do see a head and shoulders right here. You could see it. Remember it said about the same height for the shoulders and they really were around the same size, uh, 35 to uh, 35 053. So 
I mean, that's kind of interesting. What you need to see from moving forward here uh, to get away from this head and shoulders pattern is we need to see some more upward lows. So uh, what I'd like to see is something like this, where you have a low here, 34.641, and then you have another low right here, for example, uh, 37.769, and then you have another low, 39.307. So you're getting higher lows as you're going up. Right now, we're kind of running sideways, which, as I've said before, is actually a good thing. It's just nail biting. We're like, kind of like, oh man, is this is this the turn of the tide here, or is this just a healthy market correction? And then you know, you turn to your favorite YouTuber, you turn to your favorite Twitter personalities to get hope and uh, faith, and you know, stay in there and not panic sell. Uh, because you know, the worst thing you want to do is short the market in a bull market. Because when you're shorting a bull market, I mean, that's a uh, that's just a tough, that's a tough uh, thing to do because, you know, you think it's going down and then you sell, you panic sell, and then it goes back up. So you're like, man, why did I sell at that point? So it's, so it's usually better to just kind of hold on and not try to swing trade a bull market because you might get caught in a pickle and then get left out. But when it's, uh, you know, an interesting situation like, you know, we had in March, uh, you would short the market and then You'd sell at 10,000, wait to buy back in at 5,000 for Bitcoin with more purchasing power. In this particular instant, you know, people are going to do a stop loss here. And, uh, you know, if it goes below 30,000, they're going to do a stop loss. And then what ends up happening is a whole bunch of stop losses start compounding really fast. And then you get a real quick slide. And that's how you get a $10,000 sell off in one day. Now, what you have to hope for is that the uh, institutions are eagerly standing on the sidelines waiting for the short waiting for people to uh, stop loss, short sell, and then they're scooping it up as it gets into uh, the 25 to, or $20,000 to $25,000 range if that happens. Uh, that's what you would hope for. Uh, if there was a nasty, nasty sell-off, we could rebound really quickly uh, off of 20, or I would say around 18 to 20, because remember we stayed right below 20,000 for quite some time. So uh, that's kind of what we're looking for. If you want to really look at this on a three months chart here, you can see this is where we kind of have some support. Uh, obviously, uh, we ran sideways as we were, uh, we ran sideways for quite a while under 12,000, but this is our next level of support right here under 20. And we did that for about two weeks there. So I would say we have a real strong support level. Obviously, if you bought Bitcoin up above 30,000, you're going to really, feel the pain there, but if you were buying Bitcoin at 12,000 or below, uh, you're probably $18,000 Bitcoin is not going to phase you too much. But as of right now, we do have what could possibly be a bear trap and, it, and we have a trend reversal possibly occurring, not trying to FUD anyone. I'm just saying that, yeah, I mean, if you're looking at technical analysis, if that's something you're looking at, you do have a possible bear trap right there with the head and shoulders, which is typically an indication of a um, uh, trend reversal. But, I mean, without rambling too much, because at this point there's not too much that can be said because I don't have my crystal ball on me, I would say right here is a low. 30, 000, that's why I say 30,000. This is like a real big thing. If we crash below this, we won't find any sort of real support until around about 26, 25. Uh, to stop it a little bit, but it looks like some weak support. That's why we would come up into here around 22 to 20, uh, 23. 22 to 23, we'd have some reasonable support, but then by the time we go under 20, uh, that's where the, the, the real legitimate support is. So we'll see what happens. Is it a bear trap? Uh, obviously it could be. I mean, you have it, you have that bear trap right here on the peak of the head and shoulder. Uh, we need to we really need to um, start getting up there, up above 35,000. Right now, we need to break this period of 36,186. So we need to go well above 36,000 to show that um, this market's still bullish. And that would be nice to happen within the next 24 to 48 hours. If that can happen, that would be a great sign uh, of sustained recovery. If we break down below 31, 30,000, uh, that would be a sign that we could be uh, on, a, on a slide. We would be sliding a little bit more. How long it would take for us to recover from something like that would be interesting. Uh, in a perfect situation, long term for all of us, we want Bitcoin to stabilize around 33,000 for about a week. Kind of just playing around with this. Then you wouldn't call it a bear trap. 
You would just call it basically what it is, a nice level of support that we just built. Uh, if we could do that for a week, I just don't know how weak of the hands, uh, you know, the people who got the Bitcoin, I don't know how weak they'll feel about it. You know, will they get tired with Bitcoin? Will they say, I don't know, I don't know, and then they sell? I mean, we saw Asia was selling yesterday. I mean, we had that nice little bear trap, or we had that nice little head there, which turned into a head and shoulders uh, because people in Asia decided to sell the market. If you guys follow people on Twitter who are like whale bot alerts, they're giving you whale signals of time or whenever someone's making a big uh, transfer uh, from a one wallet to another to a trading wallet. That's an indicator. Uh, you can get that on Twitter. So file, follow some of those whale bots. They'll give you the information. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching Blockchain Bowls and subscribing and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.